When it comes to concrete products, there is no better grudge match than that of Polyfibrocrete and GFRC. So let's dig into the pros and cons of both today on UPC University. UPC Parks uses a proprietary synthetic sandstone. We call this product Polyfibrocrete, and it is how we get the shapes, caves, and ledges into our products. GFRC is a product that can be highly detailed. Those details are carved directly into the wet material, which is sprayed over an internal structure. Both products are made using fibers to reinforce the concrete, making them flexible and strong. We use a bunny to describe the differences between polyfibrocrete and GFRC. Polyfibrocrete is solid, whereas GFRC is a hollow structure. We will look at the three key differences between polyfibrocrete and GFRC value, aesthetics, and utility. GFRC is sprayed into multiple molds, then assembled over a steel frame. More material can then be added for detail carving. GFRC tends to carry a larger price tag. This is due to the complex manufacturing process. Lead times on these products tend to be longer as well, as each part has multiple steps and requires highly trained craftsmen to produce. Polyfibrocrete uses a simple wet cast process of pouring concrete into a mold. The final product comes out of the mold as solid concrete. Polyfibrocrete tends to carry a smaller price tag due to the simple manufacturing process. Lead times on these products tend to be shorter as there are less steps to produce each one. Both GFRC and Polyfibrocrete products create artistic climbing sculptures. Though, GFRC can obtain very high museum quality details. Polyfibrocrete allows details to be added in through stains and paints. Log textures are large and chunky, perfect for little fingers and feet to grip while climbing. In terms of utility, the two share some similar attributes, like easily maintained and their susceptibility to graffiti. The difference is in longevity, weight, and structural capability. Polyfibrocrete is solid and weighs more. It may require larger equipment to install, while GFRC weighs less, resulting in 10 to 20% reduction in shipping costs. Solid concrete has been used for thousands of years and can last that long. It is used in modern architecture and in ancient. GFRC relies on its internal steel structure for reinforcement, while polyfibrocrete relies on concrete's inherent structural properties. GFRC is only 3 fourths inches thick and is very susceptible to vandalism. Repairing GFRC requires a high skill level to complete repairs. As you can see, little effort is needed to damage these boulders. Punctures like these start out small and soon open up larger and larger, exposing the inner steel structure to corrosive elements like air and water. Polyfibrocrete is a solid structure with fully encased rebar because of its solid nature, it is less susceptible to structural vandalism. This is the type of damage we typically see from polyfibrocrete products. These shallow chips and divots are easily repaired with a sanding stone and some stain. To determine which products are right for your client, you will need to understand the client's expectations and their budget fully. Our UPC products are made using polyfibrocrete and provide clients with a budget-friendly, durable playground option. If you're collecting masterclass points, please leave your name in the comments below and we will get your credits added. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe.